crab fishermen are constantly dealing with waves. But not all waves are the same. There are three main factors that determine the size of a wave. Wind speed, wind duration, and fetch, defined as the distance the wind travels in the same direction. The larger any of these factors, the bigger the wave. This came out of nowhere, though. This sprang up quick, so I don't think there's any real combers out there that are sneaking up the chain. It's when we get that southwesterly, prolonged southwesterly, for days and days and days, that's when you start getting these big, ugly ones showing up. Whoa! Combine these wind-formed waves with the current traveling in a different direction, and the seas can get very rough. Waves are also affected by the geography and depth of the seafloor. As the sea becomes more shallow, the water has nowhere to go but up. Have you ever seen a pipeline in Hawaii? When you look way out there, you don't see big waves. And then as it comes into the shore, it turns into monster waves. So when you throw a bunch of wind and current in there, this place can really be nasty. But waves are most dangerous to a crab boat when they come from the side. A wave slapping the boat broadside can wash crew off the deck or knock the boat over, swamping it. 